All right, you guys, I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to be doing a Philly cheesesteak lasagna. So we're going to start off with our vegetables here. I got some bell pepper, orange and a red. You can use green if you like. I just personally don't like green. They're bitter and I just can't stand them. But I like orange, red, and yellow. They're pretty good. Got some yellow onion here. And I got some pre-sliced mushrooms. I went with white pre-sliced. They're a little cheaper than portobello, which I prefer, but I'm balling on the budget right now. So let's get chopping. Okay, now we got the vegetables all cut up. All right here in this little bowl. We're gonna go over to the meat. Right here I got some New York strip, but you can use any cut of beef that you like, but any cut of steak that you like. You know, um, New York strip can sometimes be a little pricey, but I'd rather have strip or ribeye. They're pretty good. But if you want, you can use like something cheaper like skirt steak or flank. Those will work too. All right, about to cut up meat. Okay, you want to cut up your steak into strips. You can cut them as big or as little as you want. I'm cutting them around like this size. Can't give you an exact measurement. <laughs> But roughly around that size should be pretty good. Alright, I'm going to get to cutting up the rest of these. Okay, now we got our steak all cut up. Here in this bowl. I use three of those New York strips. The other ones I'm going to save for maybe another recipe. And we're going to move on to the cheese sauce. Now the cheese sauce is going to consist of pepper jack, mozzarella, and cream cheese. And I got some more cheeses for the layers, but I'm going to leave them separate from the sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and shred this up. Alright, you guys. We got our cheese nice and shredded here. I use my old school cheese grater, <laughs> like what my grandma used to use. Matter of fact, now I think about it. My grandma, whenever she would use cheese, she would never get the shredded kind. She always get the block and shred it up herself. So... That's, the, that's probably the reason I do it this way, too. Oh, and also, when you get that shredded cheese, they put something on there to keep it from sticking together. I have no idea what it is, but they say if you can shred it yourself, that would be better. All right, so I'm about to go ahead and take these meat and vegetables to the stove. Okay, now I got my veggies in the pan and also my meat. But now... I'm going to hit them both with a little, little seasoned salt. Some Italian seasoning. Not too much. And some pepper. You know my favorite grinder right here. <laughs> Do the same thing with the meat. Okay. Eat the salt. All in. Okay. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> also, some garlic powder. Put a little garlic powder in there. Okay, I'm gonna let it do its thing. Okay, up next we're going to make our ricotta mixture to go in the layers. We got some ricotta cheese right there, some parsley flakes, two eggs, and we're going to add some pepper to it. Okay. Okay, we got our cheese, eggs, and parsley in, and I'm about to put some pepper. Maybe about a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons. I like a lot of pepper, so... As much as you want. <laughs> okay, clean this in. Okay, we're gonna mix it. Okay, I've got two hands. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, now it's all mixed up, and we're gonna go back to the meat and veggies. Okay, while the last of the meat is doing this thing, 
I'm gonna go over here to the sauce. So right now I'm gonna make a roux and start off with probably about three tablespoons of butter. And then, then we're gonna take in probably about maybe half a cup of flour. I'm closer to a cup almost. Probably half a cup. I'm just eyeballing things, that's how I normally cook, so <laughs> forgive me if the measurements ain't exactly right. I'm going to the stir. I'm going to cook the flour and the butter. And do this to cook out the raw flour taste. It's pumping together, but it's okay. It'll, it'll shake me soon. <laughs> Okay. It doesn't take long to get the raw flour taste out. Okay. All right, and it's good. Sit that right there. Then we're gonna pour in some milk. A little at a time. Make sure you. To get rid of those lumps. I try to work fast too. The milk has a tendency of burning. Okay, next batch. Finish smashing out these lumps and I'll be right back. Okay, now that we got our sauce lump free, nice little smooth white sauce, we're gonna turn the heat off because we don't want the heat on when we add the cheese. I'll give it another quick stir. Check that off and add the cheese. Remember, I got Pepper jack, mozzarella, and cream cheese. Focus. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Oh, it's going to be kind of hard. <laughs> Don't burn myself. Okay. Last few crumbs. Don't mind the stove. I was cooking all that meat and the oil was popping. I cleaned up when I'm done. <laughs> Okay, got the cheese in. Remember to turn the heat off and let it melt by itself with the residual heat. <laughs> Get tongue tied. So just keep at it, stir it until it's all completely melted and we'll be back. Okay, it's a little on the thick side. I guess that cream cheese really thickened it up. So I'm gonna add a splash more milk to help thin it out some. But whenever you make this, you know, have it as thick or as thin as you want. You know, however you like your sauces. Ooh, look at that. Look at a cheese pool. <laughs> Go ahead and stir this up. Okay, and we'll be right back with the next step. Okay, I got my station ready to start building up my lasagna. I got some oven ready lasagna noodles I'm gonna start we're gonna use those my white sauce right here well cheese sauce and off camera I shredded up some white cheddar cheese and I bought some provolone cheese slices I couldn't find a block or shred anything so I got the slices that'll work and I got my ricotta mixture right here let me stir it up a little bit and last but not least we got our meat and veggies over here so we're gonna start building. Okay. Okay, first we're gonna put some of the white sauce, white cheese sauce mixture in. To keep the foam sticking. Oh, it's 
camera right. Okay, put some of that at the bottom. Then we're gonna put in our noodles. See, like I one hand this. All right there, I'm right there. I'm right there. I'm gonna squeeze one on the side. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And then I'm gonna spoon in, get out a quick stir, some ricotta mixture. I can't use too much of this because I don't have a whole lot. Okay. Try to spread it out some. spread it then we're gonna put in some white cheddar sprinkle that in that's fine some provolone Ooh, it's hard to do my hand oh you guys I almost got it <laughs> One in, just lay it on all out. Okay. So six of these each layer. Put in some steak and onions, peppers, and mushrooms. Just a layer of that. Top it off with some more cheese sauce. Okay, and I'm gonna keep repeating this until it's filled up. I'll be back. Okay, everything's all in and ready to go in the oven. I got the oven set to 350. I'm going to cover this in foil for 20 minutes. And then after the 20 minutes, I'm going to take the foil off and cook it for another 25 minutes to get some color. And that'll be it. As soon as it's done, I'll show you the finished product. And here it is, guys. Fresh out of the oven, all hot and bubbly. Super damn hot. Um... Let's give this about a good 15, yeah, a good 15 minutes before we decide to cut into it because we cut it now, all the liquid, it's real hot and liquidy, it's just going to come pouring out all over the place. So just give it a while to settle and get everything rested and we'll cut into it. All right, but thank you guys for watching and be back next week for a new video. I actually do take requests in case anybody want to send me anything. I got a few things in plan right now, so just hit me up, comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.